h of x is equals to a to the power x right and then we have a point p of coordinates minus one and a half on our function h of x and then the first question 5.1 is saying let's write down the coordinates of q so let's go to a graph and look at uh, q right q is situated here it is our y intercept right uh, so if we say that q is a y intercept then we know that it has an x value of zero and some y value which we can possibly determine right so what we can do here we can say that h of zero will be equals to a to the power zero right so any number to the power zero is one so from this we can say that the coordinates of q we have zero for the x value and one for the y value and just as easy as that we have the coordinates of q that's why the question actually says write down the coordinates of q you don't even have to calculate it you can just see it right and then now uh, 5.2 so 5.2 is saying let's determine the value of a we know that we have h of x being equals to a to the power x so let's go ahead and substitute our coordinate p into h of x so that we can determine a right so if we substitute it into h of x we're going to get a half for the y value being equals to a to the power minus one so we're going to end up with a half being equals to one divided by a it's easy to see now that if these two things are equal then a shall be equals to two right you can just cross multiply you will see immediately that a is equals to two then for 5.3 the question is saying that let's write down the equation of h inverse in the form y is equals to so at this point we know that h of x is equals to 2 to the power x now we need to find an inverse the first step in finding an inverse is to swap x and y right what am i saying uh, we know fully well that uh, h of x is equals to 2 to the power x is the same as just y is equals to 2 to the power of x now we have to swap x and y if we do that we're going to get x is equals to 2 to the power y right and then if you solve this then you have the equation of the inverse but it looks a bit complicated now we have y as an exponent how do we go through that we introduce log on both sides right so we're going to have log of x being equals to log of 2 to the power y so log of x will be equals to so we can bring y down because we've introduced the log right and then log of 2 now we're just dividing both sides by log of 2 so we're going to end up having y being equals to log of x divided by log of 2 and this will all be equals to log of x base 2 and just like that we have our inverse right let's move to 5.4 so 5.4 is saying let's sketch the graph of each inverse in your answer book clearly show all intercepts with the axis so to sketch a graph we don't need much right you need to know the general shape of the graph and the intercepts but then uh we have y is equals to log of x base for this graph we're going to sketch we cannot have the y-intercept because log of zero is not defined right we could only have the x-intercept so let's go ahead and find the x-intercept right so x-intercept we know that we need y to be equals to zero so as a consequence we're gonna have zero being equals to log of x base two so how do we solve this we're gonna get two to the power zero being equals to x and what did we say any number to the power zero it's one right so this is where we have our x intercept uh the x value is one and the y value is zero right so now we can go ahead and uh, sketch our graph so somewhere here we're going to have our x intercept so there we go we essentially done right we just need to sketch our graph so it's supposed to look something like this right and then this is uh the y-axis and this is the x-axis 
let's move to 5.5 so 5.5 is saying that let's write down the domain of h inverse so what's the domain again the domain is the x values for which our function is defined right and our function here is only defined when x is greater than zero right when x is equal to zero we have undefined when x is negative we have undefined it's only defined when x is greater than zero right and then 5.6 5.6 is saying that hence or otherwise determine the values of x for which log of x base 2 is greater than 1. You can use the graph to determine that but then we're just going to do it algebraically right. So we're going to have log of x base 2 being greater than 1. That's what we need right. So if we solve this we get x being greater than 2 to the power of 1. So x is greater than 2 right. So <laughs> When x is greater than 2, log of x base 2 will be greater than 1, right? That's our answer for 5.6. 5.7, 5.7 saying that uh, g of x is equal to 100 multiplied by 3 to the power x. And then calculate the value of x for which h of x is equal to g of x. So what is h of x again? h of x is 2 to the power of x. So we need some values of x for which 100 multiplied by 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x. So let's isolate the 100 here. If we do that, we're going to get uh, 100 being equal to 2 to the power x divided by 3 to the power x, right? But then uh, we can write this nicely in the following way. So we can say 100 is equal to 2 divided by 3 to the power x right so in order to solve for x here we can introduce log on both sides so we can say that uh, log of 100 is equal to 2 and then log of 2 divided by 3 everything to the power x right so what is log of 100 log of 100 is 2 right and then this is equal to 2 so now that we've introduced log we can bring the exponent down right so we're gonna have x and then log of 2 divided by 3. So you can see now that x is going to be equal to 2 divided by log of 2 divided by 3, right? And then x is going to be equal to minus 11.36.